Hi everyone, it's Gina Kay from Gina Kay Designs, and today on Stamp TV, I'm going to share with you my brand new Holiday Foil Mates line that I designed for ThermoWeb. This collection is filled with beautiful background patterns, sentiments, dyes, and glittering foils that will help you make beautiful holiday cards. Let me start by showing you some of the background patterns. The first collection I want to show you is the Ornamental Holiday Collection, and this one is just awesome. It's filled with these striped sheets and these ornament sheets, and this is one you're going to have to pick up because I'm going to show you a fun little technique today that you're going to love. Let me show you what they look like big. Here's the stripes, and then here is the ornaments. The next one I want to show you is the Holiday Flora. And this one has beautiful poinsettias, and then it has other foliage here. And let me show you what those look like up close. You can see how nice and bold they are. Lots of black space to grab this beautiful foil. The next one I want to show you is Blizzard, and everybody loves snowflakes and swirls, so I think you're going to love this one. Here's what they look like in real life, and I love how bold these snowflakes are with these big, bold dots. Now with these background patterns, you get 10 sheets of each, which is five of each design, which is enough to make 20 cards using the positive parts of the foil. And then what you peel off from the neg that negative can be used to make 20 more. So there's enough in here to make at least 40 cards. And all of these background packs come with a piece of parchment paper. Now let me show you the sentiments. The first one is the holiday cheer and it has all of these sentiments that can be cut out using circle dies and ovals dies. And you can use punches or you can use the double stitched and single stitch dies that I designed for ThermoWeb and they coordinate beautifully with these. Here you can see these up close. These are really fun. The, the typography and just the little elements that are in there are really fun and they really grab the foil nicely. I'm going to use this one in a project today. The next sentiment sheet is the Joyful Holiday. And this one's really great, especially if you don't have dies or you don't feel like using dies or punches. You can cut these out using your paper cutter because you can do rectangles or you can do squares. But if you do have our rectangle and square dies, they will cut these out perfectly. They're all designed to coordinate. And these two will even work with the ovals dies. So if you have those or an oval punch, that will work great with these. Now I want to show you two new die sets that I've designed for ThermoWeb, and I want to show you the foil mates that coordinate with them. So the first set of dies is the decorative labels. Aren't those beautiful? And what's really fun about these is they're nesting dies because they nest together in the pack, but each one is a different design, which means that you're not kind of stuck using the same shape over and over again. You can use these for a variety of things. You can also use these with your stamps, rubber stamps, clear stamps, and pattern papers. So these are really fun to use. Let me show you the foil mates that go with these. This is the festive label set, and I'll show you what these look like up close so you can see how nice these are. And these, these are really fun, these ones with all this black space. Let me grab my die here. I keep mine on these magnetic sheets, but look how fun this is when you just lay this on top. Very easy to cut out, very easy to see, and it'll give you that nice little border in the shape of the die, a white border around. These are fun too because you can add these to your stamped cards or to the foil mates designs. And these are just perfect. They cut out really cute like that. And then they'll fit like that. You can add little brads. You can put this across another shape. So I'll be showing you some card projects with these coming up in the future. And those are the decorative labels dies and the festive labels foil mates. Now another set that I designed are these decorative tags and look at how cute these are. You've got four tags in here, each one a unique shape. This one just has a dotted line going around it. This one has a stitched line. This has a stitched line and this has a tiny little decorative line going across there. Let me show you the foil mates that coordinate with this one. 
So these are called tag tidings. And here are what some of these tags look like. Look how fun. I love this. Do not open until December 25th. Were you naughty or nice? And what's fun about these is you can cut these out and use them on wine bottles. You can use them on gifts. You can put something like from our home to yours on a home-baked item that you're going to deliver to the neighbor. And then we made sure that there were little ones in here that will fit into the smaller tags so that you can cut these out and put them on gifts or you can hang these on your card projects. And this one is really pretty too. And you can see how nicely when you add, put the die on top, it's very easy to see where to cut. It fits perfectly in that open space, so it's very easy to do. And I will also be showing you some card projects featuring the tag tidings and the decorative tag set. So for today's card project, what I've done here is I've cut some pieces out. I have a white card base, and I have one of the striped pieces, one of the ornament pieces, and then I have the Merry Christmas, Happy New Year circle. So let me find those packs for you so you can see where they come from. The circle one comes from the Holiday Cheer Collection. And then this one, both of these come from the Ornamental Holiday Collection. So these are the ones we're going to use today to make a card project. And now it's time to see the beautiful foils. So I'm so excited about this because I love glitter. I love anything glittery, red glitter, green glitter. It's just beautiful, but glitter can get a little messy. And so I talked to Scott at ThermoWeb and said, Scott, can we do glitter foil? And he said, sure, why not? So introducing the Radiant Red, and I, I have to show you this in real life. I, I store all my... Uh, foils in these pockets and I will link these pockets underneath my video at Stamp TV and also in the description at YouTube. They're a great way to store your foil but look at all of that glitter. It's got glitter, it's got little stars in it, it's just amazing. So we're definitely going to use that piece. Then look at this. Here is the glittering green. Radiant red and glittering green. Look at that green. And let's look at that in real life outside of the package. I love this one. Look at all of the glitter in that and all of the stars. And what's great about this is no mess, no glitter all over you, but you are going to have glittery holiday cards. And then the last foil I want to show you is sparkling silver and this is very holographic looking it's almost a little bit of a rainbow effect depending on how you hold it but let me show it to you outside of the package and again i have it stored in one of these pockets look at that silver isn't that amazing so you can just imagine the kinds of cards that you're going to be able to create with these beautiful new foils all right so let's get creating I'm going to start by grabbing my laminator. I'm going to pull that out here onto my desk. And then I'm going to take this striped piece from the Ornamental Holiday. And I'm going to grab a piece of parchment paper. Now, if you're new to foiling, what you want to do is you want to have little folders ready to go. This is the parchment paper by ThermoWeb. It's under the deco foil name. And what I have inside is just a piece of 80 pound white cardstock. It's the Gina K Designs cardstock. The reason I put that cardstock in there is it does two things. One, it's going to increase the pressure on the machine because foiling needs both heat and pressure in order to work. So it'll increase the pressure. It will also raise the piece just a little bit closer to the heating element, which is on the top. And it also prevents the parchment paper from getting caught up in the wheels because this parchment paper is very thin. It's about the consistency of like a typing paper. Um, super super thin actually it's much thinner than most kitchen parchment paper and that and you want that you want it to be very thin because you want the most heat and the most pressure to get on the top of it all right so I'm going to start by adding this piece into my parchment sandwich and I'm going to add this red foil on top 
and then I'm going to run this through the laminator. I'm going to grab another piece of red and of course when you're doing this at home you can cut these pieces down to whatever size you need. I probably should have been a little bit more frugal here but I am doing this video and I just grabbed these pieces because I really wanted to get this done for you. I'm going to cut this one out just about the size of that. Now you could go a little bit smaller but that will work just fine for now. And we are also going to foil this greeting. So I'm going to lay that into a piece of parchment paper with my cardstock and lay that on top. Now it looks like this one is done so let's pull this out and take a look at what this looks like. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful and it's perfect. So that is what the striped pattern looks like. Just like a candy cane. Isn't that fun? Alright, I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to send my greeting piece through the laminator. Now, you can see how beautiful this is. You don't really want to waste this. If you do a full sheet of this, you're going to have this beautiful negative. And what you can do is put a little spray adhesive on the back and lay it down on a piece of white cardstock and get another one. You can cut that out. Or you can use this piece and a piece of the ThermoWeb DecoFoil toner paper to, to use the negative to create a black and red version. So I'm going to show that to you in just a second. I have a little piece of toner paper here to show you how to do this and we'll do that in just a second. But next we're going to take this piece and we're going to use some of the green foil. I'm going to cut this down and there really isn't any waste because even the little pieces that are along the side like this piece here right here you can take a little bit of double-sided sticky tape and put that along a border of your card, lay that down and just burnish it with your finger and it will stick to the tape. You can use every little bit of this foil. Alright, so my greeting is done. Let's take a look at that and see how that worked out. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is just stunning. I love that red glitter. Alright, I'm going to put that aside and now we're going to use this piece with the ornaments and the leafy sprigs with some of the glittering green. And if you have a dent like I have here, you see the little crease marks? I don't know if you can see that there. I would just flip it over and use the other side. You want to have the flattest surface possible. And then that is going to go into the machine. And again, you can save this greeting piece and do the same thing. Take a piece of white cardstock, use a little bit of spray adhesive and put that on top. Let that dry and then cut that out with a circle die or a circle punch. So you're using both pieces, both the positive when you go through and then the negative piece left behind. And it will double the amount of projects you can make. Alright, so this is coming out the other side. And then we're going to be able to assemble this card. The hardest part is waiting for it to come out. And here is the glittering green. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's not just shine, it's sparkle, which is so beautiful for the holidays. And that is perfect. Okay, so again, this piece can be used the same way. You can use the negative and use that little square for just an accent piece. Now, I want to show you what you can do with this. All right, here is a piece of toner paper. And I'm going to lay this piece of toner paper on top of, I'm sorry, I'm going to lay this piece of foil on top of this piece of toner paper. And I'm going to slip that into that parchment. Now, everywhere that there's black, it's going to stay black and everywhere that there's foil you're going to have beautiful red foil. So this is going to be a little bit different. Instead of doing red and white, it's going to be red and black. But we're going to add another layer. So I have a little extra piece of the green foil here. and I'm going to put that aside while that goes through. And then I'm going to show you another fun little trick that you can do to make little accent pieces. All right.
So it's coming out the other side now. And we will peel and reveal. And the great thing is you don't have to wait for it to cool. It's ready to peel the minute it comes out. So let's peel and reveal. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love that. And that is perfect. You can see there is nothing left on this. You could use that for a shaker card. It's so clear. So that's how to use every little bit of your foil. Now I'm going to lay this down on top of this piece of cardstock. And then on top of that, I'm going to lay this green piece down. Now, if you wanted to, you could use it just like this, black and red. That would be beautiful for a Valentine's Day card or any kind of card. But I want this to be even more Christmassy. So I'm going to send it through with the green piece on top. Everywhere that black was showing is going to grab the green foil. But where the red was already put down, that's not going to be affected. So that's going to stay red. And this is how you can get multicolored looks with foil. So here it comes out the other side. We're also going to do another little technique here. So I'm going to grab just a little piece of this. And I'm going to put this piece into my parchment paper. And I'm going to run it through with some red foil. So while that's going through, Let's take a look at our red and green stripe. Look how pretty this is. Isn't that beautiful? I was at the Schaumburg, Illinois Scrapbook Expo, and I was making these and showing them to people, and one lady said, oh, I love that. You know what I'm going to do? She said, I'm going to make long strips of those, and I'm going to wrap them around my napkins for my Christmas dinner. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So much sparkle, you can make everything to match for your table. All right, so that's how to get a two-tone look using the toner paper and the negative pieces that you peeled off of your projects. Now, let me grab this piece. Once again, we have a beautiful red and white stripe. And look at that perfect transfer. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. Now I want to show you something fun. Here's a little square of toner paper. I'm going to put that into my parchment and I'm going to start with what I peeled off of that green piece. And I'm going to lay that down and I'm going to send that through. And now I'm going to also make use of this red piece. Pieces like this, make sure you save all of these little pieces because you can do beautiful accent pieces on your cards. So if you have a piece like this, you can put that behind it and you can put this behind it using all those little extras. All right, this technique is really fun. I'm going to show you how to create a cute little plaid look. And if you have any cute little button dies or Maybe you have just circle dies, tiny circle dies, you, punches. You can punch these out and make little buttons and buckles and things for your projects. Okay, so there is a green and black one. Now I'm going to take this same piece, lay it down in the parchment paper, and I'm going to put the red on going in the opposite direction like that. Let me make sure I have it positioned right. A little staticky. Okay, that'll work. All right, I'm going to send that through the laminator. I always keep a little box and I throw all my negative pieces in there so that when I want to make little embellishments like this, I have them ready to go. Now, while this is running through, I'm going to assemble my pieces here for my card. I have some black onyx here and I cut shadow layers for each of those and a layer for that and then I'm going to use that white card base. I'm also going to use some of the Thermoweb Sticky Dot Runner. You guys know how much I love this little thing. I'm going to use some of their foam squares and I'm going to use some of the fancy white ribbon which is perfect for the holidays. I'm also going to use a zot and 
my scissors. Okay, but now this is ready to take a look at. So I'm going to peel this, peel and reveal, and look at that cute little plaid. Isn't that fun? All of that from the striped pattern. Now again, you can take that, you can cut a heart out and adhere it to your card. You can use a little tag die. You can use a little button die or a buckle die. And that would be an adorable little patterned embellishment for your card that will match perfectly with the rest of your foiled card. Okay. Oh, and also I have to show you what's left behind. Check this out. Let me get a piece of white cardstock. Check that out. Look at the little diamonds. Aren't they cute? You could cut little strips of those and adhere them as a little row of embellishments on your card. They're as pretty as sequins. Don't waste anything, right? Okay, so we're going to put this card together. I'm going to adhere this striped pattern to my piece of black onyx. And then... I'm going to adhere the ornaments to the, another piece of black onyx. And all of the measurements for these cards will be below the screen at Stamp TV or in the des description box at YouTube. So depending on where you're watching this video, you'll get all of the information. And I'm going to use these two pieces along with this focal image. So I'm going to adhere that on. This is the double stitched circle. And then I cut out a black onyx single stitched circle. And that's how I got that perfect shadow layer. And now it's time to assemble the card. So we're going to start by adhering this panel down the side. Just like that. And then I want to add a little bit of ribbon to this piece first. So I'm going to cut just a small amount. Trim off that excess there. And I'm going to put that right in the center and flip it over and tape it down. And then that piece is just going to lay right onto my card like this. Okay, and we'll just adhere that right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this panel with some foam squares. I really love the foam squares because even though it's a raised element. It's squishy enough that when you put it in the envelope, it doesn't make the envelope too puffy, so it doesn't have to be hand canceled. Now, if you're going to add a big puffy bow like I am, you might want to hand deliver that kind of card. And then I'm going to adhere that right onto that little bit of ribbon. And then I'm going to do my famous double looped bow. And I will link that video. I have a video for this that you can bookmark. And um, I will link that underneath the screen at Stamp TV and also in the description box on YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to hold this piece of ribbon with my thumb and my pinky. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers two times. And then this tail is going to go through my fingers. Like that. And then I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to go over the loop and through the loop. So over the river and through the woods like that. And that, I'm going to pull that toward my elbow. So now my tails are coming from the back and my loops are perfect on the front. And that is how I do my little magic double looped bow. But I do have a video with five easy ways to make bows. And believe it or not, this bow is the hardest. There are four other ways to make them that are even easier. So uh, that's the video I will link to this one so you can watch that. I'm just going to trim the tails there. 
And then I'm going to grab one of these cute little zots. These come on rolls and they also come loose like this. I must be putting my trash back in. All right, here we go. So you can see these are all loose. I'm just gonna grab one and I'm going to put that zot right on the back of that bow, pull it off, and then I'm going to place that ribbon, that bow, right next to the circle and press it down nice and tight. And that'll allow me to spread out the loops and there is my finished card project. Let me show you a couple other cards that I made using the Foil Mates line, the new holiday Foil Mates line. I made this cute little square card using the blizzard and using one of the greetings that you can cut out with an oval. So that's a fun one. And I also made this one. This uses the green. And you can see I just used strips going down the side. So one panel of that can get you tons of cards if you just use little pieces like that. So those are a few card projects using the new Holiday Foil Mates line. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more projects featuring the new Holiday Foil Mates line by Gina K Designs and ThermoWeb.